Welcome to this daily service. My name is Glenn Nesbitt and thank you for joining us as we spend a few minutes together focusing our attention on God, admitting to him that we need his help and grace and asking him to fill us. Let's say together these words from Isaiah 55. Come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk, without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread, on your labour on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and eat what is good, and you will delight in the richest affair. Over these past few days we've been looking at Jesus' teaching in what is known as the Beatitudes. So let's say the first four together. Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. I'm hungry. Can I have something to eat? When's lunch? What's for dinner? Can you pass me my water bottle? I'm thirsty. Do you ever hear those words? I hear them in my house three or four times a day. I've even been known to say them. We all get hungry and thirsty. It's part of being human. It's a sign of life and of health and of need. We need food and drink. We're empty and we need filling up. And Jesus draws on our need for food and drink in our beatitude for today. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. As we've seen in the other beatitudes, the blessed person is the one who comes empty to God, who's poor in spirit, who mourns over their sin, who understands that they're not the centre of attention, but they're meek. Those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, who come to God admitting their needs, Lord, I'm hungry, Lord, I'm thirsty. But for what? Not the stuff on my Amazon wish list, or the experiences on my bucket list, or for normality, or love, or even to be right. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Righteousness, that's a big word, and a big idea in the Bible. But Jesus is speaking here of how we live life, that we hunger and thirst to obey God from the heart, that we want to put his kingdom first, that we want to know him, that we want to live for God, not ourselves, that we want to know Jesus, Christ our righteousness. And yet, if I'm honest, I don't hunger and thirst for righteousness. I want righteousness a bit like a snack. I want a bit of my sin and a bit of God's righteousness. And I've realised I need to pray, Lord Jesus, I need you. Please deepen my appetite for you. Please help me to hunger and thirst for righteousness, your righteousness. And wonderfully in this verse, Jesus, promise, Jesus promises that if we hunger and thirst for righteousness, we will be filled. You know the feeling you get at the end of a really good meal? That feeling of being full. Not too full, not stuffed or bloated, when you feel uncomfortable or painful. Nor that feeling of not having had enough, of getting up from the table and you'd like some more and you look around for other things to munch on. No, that feeling of being full, nicely full, satisfied content. And Jesus says, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness will be filled. And like all the other Beatitudes, this will happen completely in the new creation. When we see Jesus face to face in the home of righteousness, 
when God's righteousness and goodness and justice will transform our world and transform us so that we hunger and thirst no more. But Jesus also promises to fill us now. He gives us his righteousness so that we enjoy a right relationship with God as forgiven people. And he fills us now as we know him better, as he changes and shapes us and transforms us. And as he fills us, he enables us to say no to sin and yes to living God's way. And as we're satisfied with him, as he fills us, our love for him deepens. He alone meets our deepest longings. Three times today, we'll stop. We're hungry and thirsty, and we'll eat and drink and be full, but then later we'll do it all again. And Jesus says, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, they will be filled. And the more that we're filled, the more we hunger and thirst for righteousness. This is the blessed person, Jesus says. And so today, the next time you sit down at a meal, thank God for your food. But why don't you also pray, Lord, I admit my need of you. Please deepen my appetite for you and please fill me with your righteousness. As we come to pray now, let's begin our prayers by confessing our sins, by coming to God and admitting that we're empty and that we need his forgiveness and his help. Let's say together these words. Most merciful God, we humbly admit that we need your help. We confess that we have wandered from your way. We have done wrong. We have failed to do what is right. You alone can save us. Have mercy on us. Wipe out our sins and teach us to forgive others. Bring forth in us the fruit of the Spirit, that we may live as disciples of Christ, this we ask in the name of Jesus, our Saviour. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you that when we confess our sins and mean it, you forgive us. And when we come to you admitting our need and being hungry and thirsty for your righteousness, you fill us. Please deepen our love for the Lord Jesus and change us to be more like him by the power of your Spirit. Amen. Let's sing our song as a prayer for God to help us to live wholeheartedly for him. Make me
and the final prayer. May the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen.